when you started growing, at what point in, in this transition for growth did you say, whoa, whoa, wait a second, this is a, this is a business, right? And what were the first steps that you took that were good that helped you transition it correctly? So for me, it was, it wasn't until someone came to me and said, you have something here. And I, I should have known, I really should have, because my dad grew up very success. I grew up with my dad, very successful, extremely business, you know, so, so powerful. And my friends would always say to me like, oh my God, your dad, like my, my parents know your dad, we know his work and just all that. And I was like, oh, he's just my dad, you know? So I probably should have known, but I was keeping my internet every my activity very secret I just felt weird I was like this is not you know a normal career this is literally just something I'm doing for fun so it wasn't until my manager reached out to me a friend at the time and was like we you have something here like I can help you with this I can totally handle your emails we can do this together if you want you know no pressure no, nothing money nothing wild like you can just like let's just do this as friends and it was probably when I could quit my job at the time at a clothing store that I was like, mm -hmm. this is like, it's like very lucrative, this business. And I feel like this is something that I'm going to, you know, I can, I can really see results from, and I'm having fun while doing it. And my dad always said, if you find a job that you, you know, are having fun with, you will never work a day in your life. And I feel like still, I haven't really worked a day in my life because I genuinely enjoy what I do. And if I'm not really feeling it in the moment, I'll come back to it. And when I'm into it, I'll, I'll, you know, do the work. Um, but also it's about sometimes just being professional and a boss and being like, okay, I got to get into it. Let's do it. And I feel like I've grown to do that as well. And I, I feel like this internet, this internet thing, this influencer, which is something, I don't even know if I like that word. It's kind of new and trendy, but it's like very much, you never stop working. It's 24 seven from the minute you wake up from the second you have your phone in your hands, it's just very go, go, go. And it can be draining. So, you know, you need to stay focused during it. All right. You mentioned something, the word influencer, not sure if you like it, what word would you use instead? Or what would you gravitate to? Oh, I don't know. I think I grew up thinking the word entrepreneur worked oh. a lot better than that. I, I don't know if I hate the word influencer. I just feel like if you are influential, you shouldn't have to call yourself an influencer. <laughs> That's so true. It's ironic, right? You know? Yeah. It's like, That's I'm an influencer. Point. It's like, are you influencing anyone though? Like anyone can call themselves an influencer. It's like, but well, where's your influence? You know, I just, I just mm. think it's weird. It's like almost calling yourself like I'm a role model. Like what's your job? I'm a role model. It's like, are you though? You know, it's like That's people true. call you a role model. People call you influential. It sounds weird to kind of be like, I'm an influencer, but I've, I've heard it so much now that I'm like kind of desensitized to it. I'm kind of like, oh, it's not that weird. But at the beginning, I'm like, is everyone kidding? Calling themselves an influencer? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the world we live in, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. Now I'm used to it, but it was the beginning for me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Let's, let's dig a little deeper in regards to business and growth. So we go back to, to when you started seeing this as a business. Uh, have, there, have there been people in your life that, that have really shaped who you've become now that are, that are super influential in your, in your life? Definitely. My dad has always been a, a force to be reckoned with and such a smart man. He's always taught me to, you know, he's taught me things about money that I had no idea about. He's taught me, uh, he's instilled values in me that I definitely take to the workplace and just daily, not even in my business, literally daily. And something that changed my life definitely with my dad and I's relationship and my professional life was my transition. When I was started documenting my transition. I went to, I was seeing a lot of people, but I went to YouTube originals in particular. And I was like, I want to create a movie about this. I've never seen a movie from start to finish someone's transition um, and the struggles of relationships and family and friends and getting a name change and surgery and all these things that I, that, that my transition journey 
encompassed. So when they got it, they bought it. And my dad and I's relationship, I had no idea would blossom because of this. I thought it was just my movie. I thought it was, you know, going to be my story, my transition, but Mm -hmm. it was not like that at all. My dad was a part of it. My, the director, Barbara Koppel, she wanted to sit all of the important people in my life down, my dad included, and interview them basically. And the interviews went from, you know, two hours to four hours, just literally like confessional style, her drilling questions at them about me, about our, about our relationship, about my life. And seeing it back was so insane because I didn't watch it until it premiered at Sundance with everyone else in the crowd. So seeing my dad break down, seeing my dad talk about our relationship and his love for me and that a transition with a daughter or a son is not just a transition for the child. It's a transition for the parent as well. And that hearing him oh, say wow. that, I was just like, oh my God, my dad is so much more deep. Cause you know, you always think of your parent as like, they're kind of like a different species, right? It's like, yeah. I'm the kid and they're the parent. So they were never a child. They were never a human. Seeing that made it so <laughs> real. I was like, I am getting this new found appreciation for my dad and our relationship and just things like that. So I think, you know, even if it's not your parent in your life, you have to have somebody that literally is going to be in your corner, whether it's your best friend or in the LGBTQIA plus community. We talk about being having a chosen family a lot of the time. And if it's not your own family, you go out and choose another one. And it's like, you guys, it, it becomes like a blood family relationship. And I just found that I didn't have to go out and choose a family, even though I still do have one. I just had that within my dad. And that was such a turning point for me. And anyone listening that hasn't seen my movie, it's called This Is Everything. It's on YouTube Originals still. And I'm just so proud of it. And I think that everyone listening, if they haven't seen it, will fall in love with my dad because he is like the true MVP of that film.